Jesus and everyone and everything that's wrong with Hollywood. Let me do this, most all. 2024 has been an interesting year for celebrities so far. We started the year off right with Cat Williams exposing everyone and everything that's wrong with Hollywood. This interview set the tone for the year, and there's a reason for that. Those of us who are familiar with astrology already knew why this was the death of celebrity culture. Now, for those of you who don't, allow me to explain. We are in the age of enlightenment. Everything that was hidden in the dark of the old age is starting to come to light. Now that Pluto has moved into Aquarius, the collective is shifting to the point where we no longer care about celebrities, monarchies, or status. You're going to start to see a lot of celebrities struggle to stay relevant because they don't know how to keep up with this new age. A lot of them are going to be mentally stuck in the ways in which Pluto influenced Capricorn. Pluto's influence in Capricorn intensifies themes of power dynamics and materialism. The 2008 financial crisis happened during the start of Pluto's transit through Capricorn. This was the consequence of unchecked ambition and the pursuit of wealth. The rich accumulated more wealth while the people continued to suffer. You also seen influencer culture flourish. People who flaunted wealth and vanity became very famous. Now that Pluto has entered into Aquarius, we don't care to keep up with the Kardashians. Creating a business brand based off of vanity and flaunting your wealth isn't going to work in this era. We want to see that you're a normal human and you have flaws. The businesses that solve long-term problems and have a genuine, authentic need to exist are going to be the ones that have longevity. Ah. Peace and love to all the Moors, all the Muslims, all the Asiatics. This is the grand finale of the series, Extinction Level Event. Peace and love to all y'all tuning in out there and the, and the moors that will tune in out there. All you Asiatics out there. Y'all know it's our time right now. So you see my brother Marco, how he kicked it off. How he said 2024, it's been a real interesting year so far. So when you start seeing all these people, they starting to, they starting to do anything that they could do to try to be relevant. See, this is right now the age of Aquarius right now. People yesterday, they was tweaking because they like, man... I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get my superpowers. My, my superpowers didn't download. It's not going to be superpowers like that. If your mind and your principles and your standards are not on this right here, you can just keep on trying to put on a power suit, trying to get some superpowers. If your mentality, your principles are not ascending to I self law and master, you could just keep on holding your breath to get some superpowers. All right. Let me know where y'all moors is tuning in from. Toot up. Share this beam out. They like, man, where my superpowers at? I ain't. I, I was outside. I was looking up in the sky. I ain't. I, what happened with my superpowers, Joe? What, what, what my, where my powers at? The powers are internal. They're not external. So you, if your, if your internal, your higher self is not balanced out with your lower self, guess what? You ain't receiving no kind of upgrades. That ain't finna happen. It's not finna happen. Especially if you not in tune with this right here. Let's look at something real quick. Real fast. Islam. This is the science. I, from the creator of the universe, represent mother, representing mother and child. From, from hence you came. Self. Each one of us is a trinity, this being the symbol of civilization. L, law, the length and angle and width of the cosmic energies that mark you. A, the joining of the two trinities. Y'all seen the matrix. Y'all seen the matrix. Y'all know who Trinity was in the matrix. Trinity had a, the word Trinity has a much deeper level of a meaning than you just think. So the A for M is the joining of the two trinities, the male and female principles. All right. The true in which creates another I am, which is the seed. So when the man and the woman Masculine and feminine principles, yin and yang, are in harmony. Then you can have an upgrade and you have creation of a star seed. Because that's the joining of the feminine and the masculine principles. That's the A. What's the M? Master. This being the glyph for the planet Earth. 
of which we are on and aspire to be master navigators upon. I self law and master. Don't look to get no upgrades. Don't look to get no man. I was outside when the when the eclipse happened, fam. I ain't I ain't feel nothing. I ain't I don't know. If your mindset is still wrapped in this right here, cognitive dissonance, you're not getting no upgrades. And keep in mind all the time, the upgrades are internal. They're not external. It wasn't about looking up at the at Ra and trying to get some upgrades. Mentally, if your mind is wrapped up in cognitive dissonance, what's cognitive dissonance? Let's read it together. Sometimes people hold a core belief that is very strong when they are presented evidence that works against that belief. The new evidence cannot be accepted. It will create a feeling that is extremely uncomfortable called cognitive dissonance. And because it is so important to protect the core belief, they will rationalize, ignore and even deny anything that doesn't fit with the core belief. Damn. France for nine. And a lot of people are still in this mentality. You still here. If you got this book, we on page 65. Follow along from the torch. This is one of the reasons why people complain about. I ain't getting no upgrades. Our people just keep going through the same nonsense over and over and over. Let me show you all something. Look at this. If you still listening to stuff like this, cognitive dissonance, bogus narratives from people who never show you a law book. They never show. They talk about Marcus Garvey, but they never show you no books that was written by Marcus Garvey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Why would they show you something about Marcus Garvey? What he wrote, not what they say he said. But what can they show you that he said? That part. They talk about Marcus Garvey all day. Case in point, this guy. A lot of black Americans still to this day carry their previous slave Don't owners. Don't say black American, say American African. American African. Yes, sir. You do know that. What? He said, don't say black Americans. Say American African. So he wants you... He wants you to identify as an American African. See, this is the cognitive dissonance and the foolishness that people like do. They keep pushing. So you looking to get a, a upgrade because the eclipse happened. And now he's saying <laughs> identify as an American African. So whole time you do know that this is a continent, right? North America, all this landmass is North America up top. That's all North America. That's Central America. These are our connector islands to the Americas. And this is South America. Including Hawaii over here. All oh, this is America. But you got this fool over there talking about, nah, don't call us black Americans. Just call us American Africans. American African fan, y'all. When you gonna get it? When you gonna get it that it's your own people that's selling you out? You keep looking at the pale skin person, the Albion, like they the ones that's strictly selling you out. It's your own people, fam, that's selling you out. He said, "Call yourself an American African." Have you ever heard? Of a European American? Have you ever heard that? Have you ever heard that term before? Have you ever heard of a European African? Have have you ever heard that before? But this fool, this fool, right here, a this, lot of, this fool. A lot of black Americans still to this day carry their previous slave Don't owners. say black American, say American African. This fool. How long y'all gonna keep listening to these fools, man? How long? How long you gonna keep doing it? These people would not have a platform on nothing if you just turned them off. 
Turn them off. Stop listening to these people. Stop, stop subscribing to their they cognitive dissonance. Stop subscribing to the nonsense, the cognitive dissonance, the foolishness that they keep talking about. He ain't the only one, but he's one of the major fools that's out here that our people just keep just like, man, this this dude really be talking some shit. Sound like a damn fool. American African. Yes, sir. You do know that a lot of African Americans don't like that term. Well, they use African American. We're comfortable with African American. Yeah. But I prefer American African. Okay. Bec what? What? We are not Americans. Never have been. Have never been treated as such. Yeah. In the act. See, see, you see. This, 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 this is why. This, this is why. This is why you got to have your own library in your crib. You got to have your own books there. You got to have multiple books there. Because if you don't have multiple books in your own house, your own apartment, wherever you stay at your lot, you got your own library. You're going to turn your phone on and you're going to get pulled into foolishness by people like dude ass. Talking about America. We never been American. Now, he loved talking about Marcus Garvey, right? But he never shows no literature, no books, no nothing written by Marcus Garvey. Here's one for y'all right here, though. It's the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. Yeah, because it's each one teach one. You see, America is a continent. North America, Central America, South America, and all the islands. They, and you say, Africa... Africa is a continent which has countries inside of the continent of Africa. What you mean? This, see, this is the foolishness that we got to start destroying. You got to start destroying these lies these people be telling, man. All this black and this, this American African and Pan African. We got to start destroying all these Indian lies and all this bullshit. That shit over with. So he wants you to go from he want he wants you to go from saying you're an African American from Jesse Jackson. Now he wants you to start saying you an American African. You don't you don't see it yet. It's your own people that's selling you out. It ain't the pale face European that's selling you out like that. It's your own people that's selling you out because they're getting paid to sell you out. Marcus Garvey said what? What did Marcus Garvey say? Let's find out together. What did what did what did Marcus Garvey say about this right here? What did he say? Let's 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 find out together. What did Marcus Garvey say? Marcus Garvey said this. Hold up, what? What did Marcus Garvey say? He said this right here. He said traitors. Watch this, though. Turn your screen record on. Watch this, though. You're going to want this. Oh, yeah. This is Marcus Garvey's words now. These ain't my words. He loved talking about Marcus Garvey. Hold up. He loved talking about Marcus Garvey, don't he? Talking about Garveyites and all this other BS, right? This guy. He loved talking about Marcus Garvey. What Marcus Garvey say about this? About traitors. Share this beam out. He say, in the fight to reach the top, the oppressed have always been encumbered by the traitors of their own race, made up of those of little faith and those who are generally susceptible to bribery for the selling out of the rights of their own people. As Negroes, so-called Negroes, we are not entirely free of such an encumbrance. To be outspoken, I believe we are more encumbered in this way than any other race in the world because of the lack of training and preparation for fitting us for our place in the world among nations and races. Is black a nation? Is white a nation? Hmm? 
Pan-African is not a nation. Contrary to what people like this guy and everybody else that studies stuff like the nonsense that these fools be talking about. That's not a nation. There is no nation of Islam. This, it's not a place. Islam is a science called I self law and master that has five components to uplift the Moorish woman. Because you see, the I is the creator of the universe representing the mother and child from hence you came. That's what that symbol mean right there. That's what that symbol mean. But they tell you that you black. You a color person. You're an American African. This nigga said American African. <laughs> Jesse Jackson said African American. He flipped it around and said in 2024, I prefer American African. But what did Marcus Garvey prefer? He was talking about traitors. The traitor of other races is generally confined to the mediocre or irresponsible individual. But unfortunately, the traitors among the Negro race are generally to be found among the man highest placed in education and society. The fellows who call themselves leaders. Oh my God. The fellows who call themselves leaders. Those are the traitors. That's why more is that each one teach one tell you not your not your leaders. You your own leader. You lead by example. You lead your family by example. You your own leader. You don't need no leader. And another thing, another thing that that guy who keep this guy right here and all the rest of them that they keep selling y'all these dream tickets. They keep telling y'all that you're black and, and, and nationhood and nationality don't mean nothing because you're going to struggle. But he always seems to quote the he always seems to quote Marcus Garvey, right? Oh, we Garveyites. Yeah, he do. So what did Marcus Garvey say about this? He say nationhood. Whoa, nationhood. These ain't my words. This is Marcus Garvey words. What do he say about nationhood, though, fam? He say nationhood is the only means by which modern civilization can completely protect itself. Independence of nationality, independence of government is the means of protecting not only the individual, but the group. Nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples. <sighs> ah. But people like this guy, they keep talking about, oh, well, yeah, oh, uh, Marcus Garvey, he was my ancestor. Yeah, he was your ancestor. What else? What else? You, what else you talking about? What other foolishness you saying? African. OK, because we are not Americans, never have been, have never been treated as such. Yeah. And the adjective precedes the noun. So when you that's a direct lie, right? He just told two lies in a span of five seconds. He said we have not been treated like we supposed to be treated because our people listening to fools like that think that we're not Americans. Then he said, then he said. The adjective precedes the noun. What? So this is why you got to have your own library. You get your own library and you can look up stuff like this yourself. See, you get your own. Li See, these people that be talking, do they ever show books? Do they ever bring out receipts, congressional records, documentation? Hell no. All they do is talk. They get in front of the camera. They start talking. No book shown ever. Then you say Scott Forsman Advanced Dictionary. Now, this is an American dictionary, right? This is, this is an American dictionary, right? He said, what? Wait, 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 wait let's just backtrack. Listen, hold on. Adjective precedes the noun. So when you say 
but with African American. Yeah. But I prefer American African. Okay. Because we are not Americans, never have been, have never been treated as such. Okay. Yeah. We have not been, we have never been treated as such. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Scott Forsman's advanced dictionary. But hold that thought. Before I go here, let's 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 just Let's just jump in the time machine real quick. Let's jump in the time machine and let's jump back to 1828. You want to jump back to 1828 with me? Let's jump back there. He said, we've never received justice. We've never received any justice. Another lie. American Dictionary of the English Language. Noah Webster, 1828. See, all you got to do is just start going to the books. Then you can start destroying the narratives that these pro-black people be talking about. These Indian people be talking about. All you got to do is get your build. Start. Just start with a book at a time, like a brick at a time. Start one brick, one book at a time. You ain't got to buy the whole library. Just start with one book because you see over here in this book, since they love bringing up Marcus Garvey, this is his book. And he said that nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples. Independence of nationality, independence of government is the means of protecting not only the individual, but the group. Hmm. America, right? Our self law and master is Islam, the science. 1828 Noah Webster Dictionary. This guy, he said, we've never received justice. Americans never have been, have never been treated as such. Yeah. What, what, what did you say? What did what, what, you say? What, what, what? Because we are not Americans, never have been, have never been treated as such. Yeah. In the okay. adjective. Now, now, let's, now, let's, now, let's do a little cross-reference on that. Let's do a little fact check on that. They love doing fact checks, right? Right. They love doing fact checks. So let's just look up the word American. 1828, Noah Webster Dictionary. All right. These ain't my words now. Nah, we in the time machine right now. We flying back to 1828. He said, um, we're not American because we've never received justice or the treatment in America. Yeah. And you go right here to the definition of an American. What that say? You got eyes. If you got eyes to see, then you can see it. What that say right there? An American is a noun. But fool, he said, the adjectives precedes the noun. How, Sway? Nouns are right here. An American. Adjectives describe the noun. So how can an adjective precede the noun? Foolishness. <laughs> Foolishness. Look, an American pertaining to America. American, noun. A native of America originally, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans. <sighs> what? What? What are you what are you what are you saying? <laughs> what, are, what are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? Hold up. What are you saying? A lot of black Americans. What? Hold on. What? What? So, what'd you say? Are not Americans. Never have been. Have never been treated as such. Yeah. In the ad. What? But I prefer American African. Okay. Because we are not Americans. Never have been. Have never been treated as such. Yeah. How can we not? How could we not be that. American? So when you say. Hold up. How could we not be an American? When we are described as originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans. You see how they you see you see all you got to do is start building up you a little library inside your crib. Start building up you a library. Get this book right here. This is a banger. 1828. American Dictionary of the English Language. Start studying the language. This is not a pale-skinned European language, by the way. Moors, we created this language like we created all other languages spoken. We got to start giving ourselves more credit. 
See, we've been beat down and indoctrinated for so many generations. That time is over now. That's what the eclipse was about, because this is the age of knowing now. This is the age of information. This ain't the time no more to be in doubt. If you in doubt, you need to start knowing, start learning, get out of the, get out of the beliefs. You shouldn't believe nothing. You don't believe in the Santa Claus coming to your chimney, jumping, jumping through the chimney, dropping cookies off, drinking the milk and dropping gifts off. You don't believe in that. You don't believe that uh, on Easter there's a there's bunny rabbits, right? There's bunny rabbits on Easter laying eggs like chickens. How does that work? I mean, are you still in that mentality? Because that mentality is what's known in science as cognitive dissonance. You hold a core belief inside you so strong that when you get presented with evidence that goes against those beliefs, you shut down because you unwilling to open your mind up to information that you have not known so far. So it's called cognitive dissonance. So this guy. And everybody else pushing that pro-black bullshit. You tell me how the American Dictionary of the English Language, it says right here in the definition of American that American originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans. Who was here first? I mean, our people, we, we talk that shit like, yeah, we was here first. We was here first, but we had a name. We had a nationality. The name and a nationality is more. The name in America, America is a more. It's in the name. Our name is in the name of the land we live on. Ain't it wild? Our name more is in the name America. Put it together. And then you go right here. Hold up and listen to this. Listen, listen to this. A lot of black Americans, <laughs> African American, mm -hmm. you're describing a type of an American. Okay. We're not Americans. When you say American. <sighs> just stop, man. Just, just, just sit the fuck down. See, this is the energy that it is right now. See, it's up right now. We got to start collectively just telling people like him and whoever else that's out here talking that pro-black Indian nonsense propaganda paid off, sit the fuck down, all right? Sit down. Get the fuck on. Because all that pro-black bullshit, I'm, I'm going to quote Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey said, what? Marcus Garvey said, nationhood is the only means by which modern civilization can completely protect itself. So if you don't have a nation, which is the root word of nationality, then how are you going to protect yourself? How, Sway? Nation is the root word of nationality or nationhood. This is the protection that our people been looking for. We've been desperately looking for justice. We've been desperately looking for peace. We've been desperately looking for truth. We've been desperately looking for happiness. We've been desperately looking for all the things that we are supposed to get. But what does the Bible scripture say? Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people perish by the day for a lack of knowledge. If you not seek, if you not actively seeking knowledge and applying that knowledge through your day in and day out words, thoughts and actions, then what you doing? Look, what you doing? What you doing? Look, can you can you can you can I show you all something real quick? I'm going to show you all something real quick. Check this out. Check this out, because this is the age of information. Islam. This is a basalt head, a Olmec head, a Moorish head, Moorish features, as you can see. How did this head get over here in the Americas? How did it get over here? Because according to this guy, according to this guy, 
You're describing a type of an American. Okay. We're not Americans. When you say America. How did this head? Can anybody answer me that? How did heads like this get found scattered all around the Americas? How? How did how how did this thing how did this how did so many of these basalt Moorish heads get found over here in the Americas if according to this guy we're not American? See? You got you gotta really watch listen and you gotta really like see these people for who they are not what you want them to be see you gotta start looking at these people for who they are not what you what you be like man you know because we got we got like real like we got like real like kind like our nature is is real kind like real shit like we got real like giving and forgiving natures because we 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 are we are though that's our natural DNA. Like we really like as a people, we forgive. And that can be and that can be real detrimental because if you got people who are deliberately sending you off, they deliberately leading you to a place where you can be harmed, that's not forgivable. All right? It's just not forgivable at all. That's a traitor. And then when you say something like this, you say, how can we not be American with all these basalt heads that weighed five to 10 to 20 tons? Islam, these were found over here, all scattered around the Americas. And actually, if you really want to get to it, if you really want to get to it, this is the prophet, Noble Drew Ali. None of, hold up, for the more to ask the question, or you threw the statement up there, they don't want to, they, listen, they don't want no smoke with moors that know. You see, this is the difference with these people. They would rather put a show on, they would rather put a circus on, and dance all around the topics Versus dealing with what's supposed to be, which is law. Notice something. None of these people ever crack open law books. But if they was to get in some hot water, the first thing they do is they hire an attorney. Think about it. Put it together. You say that we're not American. But why? so with that, with that ideology, why would you get in trouble? You first thing you would do is hire an attorney. That work for the court. You see how you got to make it make sense. And the shit that don't make sense. You just got to start calling shit out. If you say that you're not American. Why would you hire a non-American attorney to represent you in the courtroom and expect to get justice? Goofball. This is what I'm saying. It's time to start ethering them. Look. This is the prophet. Noble Drew Ali. The prophet Noble Drew Ali said that we are not Negroes, colored folks, black people or Ethiopians. See that? He said those names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now. And all men must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble Drew Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans, the Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Let me show you what a, what a north, the northwestern and the southwestern shores of Africa is at. Bing bong. You looking at them. Northwest Africa, southwest Africa. This entire time, we are in northwest Africa. 
if you're in North America. If you're in Central America, then you're over here in the Americas. The farthest, the farthest west or the most extreme west, you're in Africa. You never left Africa. That's another lie. They try to disassociate us, us from Africa. The plan, if you look, if you do, if you do, if you do an etymology, etymological, if you do an etymological lookup, pull up the word in Google and say, type in Africa. Type in the etymology of the word Africa. When you look up the word Africa, it's going to say terrain. It's going to say earth. So at one point in time, the entire planet was called Africa. Ancient would say a maxim. So when you say Northwest, a maxim, Southwest, a maxim, you're talking about the ancient term. The ancient name, not modern. Africa is modern. Ancient is a maxim. Al Kubalan and all of that, those are names too. But if you want to go ancient, you would say a maxim. Or you would say Asia. That's why we're Asiatics and Muslims. We're not Muslims. No. No, sir. So when you say, when, when fool, when fool was saying what he's saying right here, this guy, look. African African, you're describing a type of an African. So that's why we say American African. Okay. Amer so answer this. How can you describe an African when so-called Africans over here, they have a country that they come from? They don't say if they're from Libya, they don't say they're just from Africa. They're going to state the country that they come from. They're going to say they're from Libya. They're Libyan. Islam, they're not going to say I'm I'm from Africa. If you meet somebody from Sudan, they're not going to tell you I'm from Africa. And then you say, where in Africa are you from? They ain't going to say I'm African. They're going to tell you, I'm Sudanese. See that? See? Countries are inside of continents. Africa, over here on the other side of the world, is a continent. Countries are inside of a continent. Don't you find it strange how the school system, they told us that there's seven continents, right? They told us it was seven continents. Shout out to Cameroon. They told us it was seven continents, right? And in each continent, you have countries. You have country. This is Asia. You have countries over here. Don't you find it suspicious that they say that we have seven continents, but it just happens to be over here that these are states and not called countries? Don't you find that suspicious? <laughs> Turn your God eye on. Turn up your God self now. There's seven continents on the planet, right? How come all of the other continents, they have countries inside of them? Okay. But it just so happened to be when you get over here to the Americas, that's when the foolishness and the fuckery it start happening. This is a continent over here with countries in it. But when you get over here, somehow or another, they turn from countries into states. Huh? Huh? See that? See? Now you got to ask yourself, well, man, how, well, how deep do the lies go? Because check this out. How are these down here going to be countries? Right? South America. Central America, how are these countries and all of the islands over here, these are countries. But then somehow or another, when you get up past Mexico, you got states. Hmm. How does that happen? How, how, how does that happen? How do you go from countries, countries, country, 
to states. Hmm. How does how does that happen? And I let's go a little deeper now. Let's go a little more deeper. You will say, well, each state, so-called state, has its own state constitution, its own state national flag, its own state bird or animal. Hmm. How can each state have its own constitution? That would mean each one of these states are actually countries that have their own Republican form of government that's verified with a constitution. Hmm. Something to think about. See, it's the age of it's the age of information. It's the age of knowing right now. Huh? See? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. But but this guy, this fool, what are you over here talking about? He said, what? You're describing a type of an African. So that's why we say American African. American simply describes the African. Yeah. Versus African describing the American. We are Africans in an American context. What the hell are you talking about, man? What the hell is he talking about? You see, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> this is what this is what the age of Aquarius is all about. See, all fuck shit is going to be exposed now. You see, that's what this is. That is what you would say. Your powers, your powers are going to start beaming out because you going inside yourself. You not looking to get your powers from outside of yourself. Your powers are internal. That's where your powers are. Nah. They still he's he's he still isn't making no sense because if you go a little further, and then you say this the Montauk Book of the Dead. Let's just go a little further. Because we gotta throw the trash out now. Let's start throwing the trash out. You now the garbage man and them, the garbage man and them be coming and they throw the trash out. We got to start throwing the garbage out, man. We got to start throwing the garbage out. We got to get the garbage out of here. Montauk Book of the Dead. ATL, Islam, Kansas, Islam. Look. Yeah, Kansas going bye-bye. <laughs> Kansas going bye-bye. Look. He said, well, we're, we're not, we're not Americans because, uh, we're, we're not Americans. Page 388 from the book, the Montauk Book of the Dead. By the way, hold up. By the way, this book right here, this book right here was written by a pale face. Okay. A more didn't write this book because you got people in the comments or people that's going to watch it and be like, eh, that book was written by a more. That's right. That's why he reading it. M.I.A. Islam. This That book was written by a more. No, 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 no. Peter Moon is a hybrid European. Just for the record. OK, so just had to get that out the way. Now you say because this guy, he said that we're not American. Right. We're we're he said that we're American Africans. Make that dumb shit make sense. Common history tells us that the U.S. that the U.S. Constitution was based upon highly civilized principles of the Iroquois nation. But we are not told that these were based upon an even more ancient Moorish doctrine. Which is known as. Isonomy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what? What? Hold up. <laughs> Yo. Yo. He said, what? We say, see, we get told that the Constitution, we get told that the Constitution was made up of an Iroquois Confederation doctrine, right? But we don't get told the other half. See, they always leaving bits and pieces off so we can't put it together. But now 
with the age of information, that's why they want to shut TikTok now. They want to shut IG. They want to shut all social media down. Real shit. If they really had it their way without the freedom of speech and people that still like enforce law, they would have been shut it down. But it's people starting to gain that consciousness now. They starting to oh, they starting to reawaken. So when you say stuff like this, you like, hold up. Wait a minute. You trying to tell me that the U.S. Constitution wasn't actually created by the five civilized tribes of the Iroquois nation, but an actual even more ancient Moorish doctrine known as isonomy? What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You, you said, you said isonomy? Ah. You said isonomy? What is that? Nah, the question is, what does isonomy mean? What is, you trying to tell me that the Constitution was created by an even more ancient doctrine called the Moorish Doctrine? Oh, wow. What, what is isonomy about? What's, what's that about? Let's find out. Let's find out. Ah, uh, let's find out. From a book written by a pale skinned European. Ah, oh, see, that's what make it even that's what make it even more crazier. You trying to tell me that these pale skinned Europeans is telling the truth? And our people lying? Hmm. Interesting. What is isonomy? It says, while I cannot give you complete justice to isonomy in a brief article, we can begin by recognizing that the etymology of isonomy is derived from ISO plus nomos, meaning right law. The essential fundamental principle of isonomy refers to the spiritual nature of justice and peace as it applies to the social order or governmental political society in which it is adapted and enforced. Isonomy is the guide po is the guide point or foundation from which jurisprudence or positive law is derived. A system of laws designed on some on such principles will not only have checks and balances but is meant to act as a thinking and sensitive sensitive system which is not prone to prejudice or corruption justice however is just one of what are known as the five principles of isonomy mm. the five principles of isonomy ancient moorish doctrine Constitution derived from? Hold up. So then you say this right here. It says the others are love, truth, peace, and freedom, the symbol for which is the compass and square. The symbol for which is the compass and square. The symbol of which is the compass and square. Being fucking bong. That's isonomy. So we don't need to be afraid of this symbol no more. This is an ancient Moorish symbol. And isonomy's first principle is love. Is love. And love is the highest principle. Is it not? I mean, who don't want love? Who don't want who don't want to feel love? Who don't want to be loved? Who don't want to be in love? Ah, that's why they want to diminish the frequency of love and get us out here on some fuck it. I don't care. I hate you. you whatever you talking about don't matter. They want to do that. You see, they want to diminish the frequency, the vibration and the energy of love. Look, if he was really talking about love. Then why would he be lying? Why would he be lying? Why would why would anybody who really got love for their people lie to him? See, all you got to do is just ask the question. If you love me, then why would you lie to me? Listen to this guy. 
never been treated as such. Yeah. And the adjective precedes the noun. So when you say African American, mm -hmm. you're describing a type of an American. Okay. We're not Americans. When you say American, why would he lie to you like that if he really loved you? You see, how can an adjective precede a noun? That's grammatically, that's a grammatical error. <laughs> that's a grammatical error that an adjective can precede a noun. Like, what are you talking about? That's that's like saying, that's like saying, Rashi, Rashi has a black coat on today. What's the description of the coat? Black. What is the first word in the sentence? Rashi. So if Rashi got a black coat on today, how did did the adjective precede Rashi? You see, this is why brick by brick, we're going to destroy everything that they're talking about. Brick by brick, book by book, record by record, document by document, everything that they're talking about, every lie that they've been telling, all the BS that they've been talking about. We're going to destroy that shit brick by brick. That's what the whole eclipse was about yesterday. It's about that internal light that you got, that lamp of illumination that you got. If you're in the science of high science, which is I self law and master, that is the upgrade that you're talking about. You got yesterday principles. And the first principle is to uplift the woman. That's the I. I from the creator of the universe, representing mother and child from hence you came uplifting the Moorish woman is what what the what, what the Moorish men are called to do. That's why we uplift the woman. Because the woman is humanity. She has the nation inside of her. So if we just let our woman just do whatever they doing, they just stay out here getting catching body count crazy, caring about finances crazy, caring about what they want to do versus what's good for the family, then you playing right into the hands of the ops, the agents. You playing right into the dark plans that they got for you. Like this horse right here. Behold a pale horse. You playing right into their hands. When you switch sides, talking about, man, I, I, I don't believe in a gender. I think we got 500 genders out here. You playing right into the hands of the pale horse. You playing into the hands of the dark force, riding the horse, sending your people straight to the bottom, to the bottom of the bottom. Instead of being on the positive side of the law, uplifting the woman. I mean, you complaining about and you guys see you got dudes that be complaining about a lot. of A lot of this shit It's a 50 50 type demonstration. It's 50 50. You can't just complain about the women out here because the women are emotional. They're not thinking with logic analytics. They not the majority of them. They're not naturally wired to think like that. We got to be the providers and the protectors to come in with logic and reasoning to get them off just pure emotion, just how I feel. That's how you ask a woman what they think. They're going to tell you majority going to tell you what they feel. If they operate in a higher self, they're able to tell you what they think and what they feel. But if you're dealing with the everyday somebody who just out here in the world and of the world, they're going to tell you what they feel. That's why us as Moorish men, we got to be the ones that's coming out the gate on I self law and master. I sonomy, love, truth, peace, freedom and justice. This right here, the star, that's the star of Venus. We're looking at the mother when we look at our star. That's why we got to hold and uplift the woman out of the cares of the world because the cares of the world will have her pulled so deep down emotionally. She's going to be overwhelmed. She's going to have a panic attack, an asthma attack. Before you know it, she's going to be out here. Her years of youth have passed her and she's going to be filled up with all this regret. 
She gonna be filled up with all her girlfriends sending her off, telling her that she was she she could have did better. She she should have just stayed in school. Don't settle. All that is a all that man. It's a military strategy to get our women to leave their men and get on their own. Let the U.S. corporation raise their child. Let the U.S. corporation feed their child, their children, and the man just outside on the outskirts somewhere. And then they got nerve to call the man deadbeats. Hey, what, are, what are you talking about? Nobody told you to do what you did. You took the vouchers. You took the offers of the U.S. corporation to be the children's father. How? When has the U.S. corporation ever did anything you can name for the benefit of our people? I'm talking about the U.S. corporation. I'm not talking about America. There's a difference. The U.S. corporation is a foreign private for profit human trafficking organization. That's the U.S. corporation. It's a military arm. Now, when you say the Americas, you're talking about this right here. We talking about this right here, the land of the Moors. We talking about this right here. Hold up, let me show you some. It says the U.S. government and New York State could have acted and settled this case years ago when it was brought to their attention. What case was that? What what case was that? You talking about the case? Where the so-called Indians, the Lenape Indians, and all the rest of them, they end up losing their case? Why'd they lose their case for? Why, why'd they lose the Hold up. Why, why, why did they lose their case? Huh? Do anybody know why the Montauk Indian Nation was declared extinct in 1909 by New York State Supreme Court Justice Abel Blackmar on the basis that no Indians showed up in court. This is why the so-called Indians keep losing. This is why the Pan-Africans keep losing. The Hebrew Israelites keep losing. The pro-black people keep losing because according to law, you don't exist. That part. You see? It says, although a considerable amount of Montauks did show up, Justice Blackmar stated they were too black to be Indians and dismissed their case. See that? Legal experts consider it to be the biggest travesty of injustice in U.S. Indian relations, although no remedy has yet been obtained as the date of 2004. Keep playing around. Keep playing around talking about you Indian, black. You keep playing around with the Pan-African stuff. Oh, that's cognitive dissonance. You got such a strong belief in what you believe in. But have you ever put your beliefs to the test? With a book, like a law book, a history book. Have you ever put what you believe in to the test? You know what I'm saying? Because if you believe... Whatever you believe, do you know if your beliefs are true or not? Ah, that part. Nah, you say this. You say, there is now, however, a much bigger issue at stake. And that is the destruction of the Moorish nation, which was known as Societis Republica I.L. Moricanos which translates as the Al Moroccan Republic Society. What? Keep going. At this time of the founding of this country. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. What did he say? What did this guy say? So I just want to keep this fresh in y'all mind so you can see the contradiction that people like him be talking about. <clears throat> A lot of black Americans. You're describing a type of an American. Okay. We're not Americans. When you say American African, you're describing a type of an African. 
So that's why we say American African. American simply describes the African. Yeah. Verse. Get your goof ass out of here. You make literally no sense because we got documentation that we been in the Americas from 1828 dictionaries that we already been here. What the hell is you talking about? 1828 dictionaries. Get this in your library. 1828. If he's saying that we're not American because we've never been in them, we've never been treated right in America. How we ain't never been treated right in America, Sway? You know why people don't get treated right right now? Because instead of claiming a free national name and a nationality, our people out here listening to fools like this talking about some pro-black bullshit. Talking about, yeah, we're not, we're not African American. We're American African. Get your goof ass out of here. Because in the definition of American, it says a native of America originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans. Look at your arm. Do you resemble copper? If you resemble copper complexion, that would mean that you are originally an American. So what the hell is he talking about? What do any of them be talking about? This is why I say it's time to tee up on all that shit. Brick by brick, it's time to destroy all the bullshit narratives that people like him and all the rest of them be talking about. Stop letting them just slide and get passes and, and all this bullshit. Yeah, black is beautiful. The color black is beautiful. It does not pertain to pigmentation. Your skin is not black. That's not a pigmentation in the natural color spectrum of human beings. Living beings, we don't have black pigmentation. That's why we're not Negro black or colored. That spell is wicked. That spell must be broken inside your mind if you want to receive upgrades. If you don't want to receive upgrades, you don't want to be our self law and master. You don't want to uplift the woman. You don't want to be into balance with divine harmony of the true true in in the two trinities of male and female principles of I am. And you don't want to master yourself or master law, then okay, well, you can keep listening to narratives that they keep talking about cognitive dissonance, and you will be left behind. Talking about America. Something else about America. America, Amerigo Vespucci, a Florentine. That's not American. He's a Florentine. You know what Florentine is at? Look up where Florentine is at. It's not America. Who pretended to have first discovered the Western continent. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, this guy, another one. See, you invest in it. You invest in the books. It'll start telling you everything you need to know. So man knows not by being told. But my people perish by the day for a lack of knowledge. So it's not about you saying, man, I'm just going to believe in whatever I believe in. Shit, I'm just going to believe in whatever they tell me. No, sir. No, sir. This ain't the, it ain't the age of that no more. This guy, Merigo Vespucci, he, would, he pretended to discover the Western continent. He didn't discover this over here. How can you dis... How, fam. <laughs> yeah. Fam, fam, real shit. Got a question for you. How can you discover a place that people was already there? Huh? Can anybody answer me that? How can you discover a place where you already had people there that was flourishing while they was there? They was already living. They had civilizations. They had all type of things going on. How? How can you? How? How, 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 so how you got maps of people already living over here? How do you have that? And then if you want to, if you want to go to the word America, see, they don't want to go into the, the origins of the word America, but they'll tell you goof ass shit like this though. They, they, they'll tell you goof ass shit like this though all day. Precedes the noun. 
So when you say African American, mm -hmm. you're describing a type of an American. Okay. We're not Americans. We you literally make zero fucking sense. Zero. Because if you go to the book, if you go to the book, America is the true old world. And you notice that they never bring books out. They they ne they never, they never do that. What does it say? Even the Sumerians who worshipped Amaru were Amor were the Amorites. You can get the word America very easily from Amor, Amur, America, American, Al Murican, Al Murikim, Al Muraka, Al Morocco, because with ancient Semitic Kemetic languages like Hebrew and Aramaic, the vowels are interchangeable. Hmm. Now you starting to see and put pieces together why these people never show books off. They don't never show you no books off. Don't matter of fact, don't look for them to show you no books off. Why would that? Why would think about it? If they've been lying for generations, what good would it be for you to know that they've been lying? That's why they talk like how they talking. Look, listen. We are not Americans, never have been, have never been treated as such. Yeah. If How can we not have been Americans? But if you break the word American down in the Semitic languages or the Kemetic languages like Hebrew, they love talking about their Hebrew Israelites. So if you broke the word America down in Hebrew or Aramaic and you take the vowels out, because the vowels are interchangeable, you will get the word Al Mori Khan, Al Mori Khan, Al Mori Kim, Al Maraka, Al Morocco. What? You will get the word Amor in the word America. Now you see why they don't show no books. Now you see why they don't show no books because you got agents that's out here that'll spin you and send you off and tell you goof ass shit like this. American. Yeah. But I prefer American African. Okay. Because we are not Americans, never have been, have never been treated as such. Yeah. And the adjective precedes the noun. So when you say. Now, think about this right here. How can the adjective again precede a noun if the noun is being described? Or something is being described by the adjective. This is why I said, this is how you catch these people up. All you got to do is just start, just slow, them, slow it down like Neo did in the Matrix when he caught them bullets that were shot at him. You remember that scene? How Neo was just looking at the bullets when he finally got that, that Zen moment. And he seen them bullets popping off. And he like, man, hold up. He put his hand up like, no. Put his hand up. Remember that scene, right? He put his hand up. He like, no. Bullets coming at him full speed. He ain't got no fear, though, because the whole time, nah, he knowing. He like, no. He ain't going no more. Matter of fact, hold up. You need to see that. You need to see that. Hold up. Bullets coming at Neo, man. Bullets coming at Neo, J. Remember that scene? When they shooting shots at Neo, and he like, no. Bullet shot at Neo. Let's do it in real time. I want you can see. Bullet shot at Neo. Let's do it in real time so you can see what's going on. Hold up. Ah. Okay. Uh, when is okay. my allergy spray gonna kick in? You need Astapro. I don't know why they be thinking like. <laughs> I don't know why they be thinking they little commercial gonna play or something. That shit ain't getting no life over here, fam. So while that's playing, you see the word right here? While that's playing, you see over here? Look at this map. Israel was over here. Jerusalem, Lebanon, that's over here. The Red Sea is over here. Egypt is over here. Don't Why y'all think they got a city called Cairo, Illinois? That's over here. 
We thinking we've been we've been found we've been brainwashed and conditioned to think that these places wasn't over here first. All these places are on older maps of America, G. Real life. So when you say the Egyptian Sea, that's older than what the map is of current times. This is an Old Testament map of ancient America, not modern America. See, then when you say Mesopotamia, Babylon, Assyria, that's all over here in the Americas. So while our people been brainwashed and conditioned to be like, man, fuck America. I'm leaving America. That ain't my homeland. Did you know that you can't go nowhere else in the world and get asylum? You can't go nowhere else in the world. Literally, you can go nowhere else in the world and get safe asylum. But the Americas, your home is the Americas. That's why they got these puppets out here talking about you need to leave America. You need to go. Go where? Where, where you going to go? The whole world is really your home. But your homeland, your homeland, if you Moorish American, is the Americas. That's your homeland. Look. <clears throat> Why you think you don't need no green card to be here? Huh? Why do you think we critically thinking right now? Why do you think everybody else in the world, when they come to the Americas, why do you think they got to have a so-called green card to come here? But our people don't have to have a green card. But they tell us that we are descendants of slaves. If we are descendants of slaves, and they got the three strike rule out there in Cali and whatnot. Then how come the people that's got three strikes, how come they don't get a chance, an opportunity to be like, hey, I'm finna fly back to my homeland over here across the water in Africa. Think about it. Because that's not your homeland over there. Your homeland is over here in Al Maghrib, Al Aska, Morocco. This is your homeland. If you Moorish American, you at home already. That's why you don't need no green card. That's why they cannot deport us anywhere on the planet because that will be an international war crime. So they got to build more jails to lock more of our people up in our land. Islam, this is the game. This is the game that they playing. This is the game that they playing. Hold up. This is the game they playing. You need to see some because you think Neo, hold up, because you think Neo, who you think Neo was about? Who who do you think Neo was about, fam? Like if you if you're not like into sci-fi, let's 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 take it from sci-fi. Let's take it to metaphysical. Who do you think Neo, Trinity, Morpheus, who do you think they really was about? Cypher, Cypher was the was the traitor. Cypher was the, tr he knew what they was on, but he was the traitor. He worked with the one, he was working with Morpheus on a ship, on the Ebuchadnezzar, the Nebuchadnezzar. He was on the ship and everything. Whole time, he was a, he was a mole that was infiltrating them, giving them information to the agents. That was his job. People like that everywhere though. They with you, but they not with you. They around you, but they not with you, though. You feel me? It's always, look at that movie, Black Messiah, Judas and the Black Messiah. Right around the chairman and all that. He was right around them. Every day, head of security and all that. He was living, he was working right around them. Everybody wants, but see, once you figure out who it is, don't let them, don't let them get no pass. No, sir. Don't let them get no pass. Once you figure out who the Judas is, you're not supposed to get them no passes. You're supposed to call them out, bring their ass out to the forefront in front of the people, and then they're going to be judged. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to Fred Hampton, though. So look, when you turn the word Neo, turn the word Neo around, what you get? You get one. Who do you think you are? You right now, you looking at this beam out, who do you think you are? You the one. You just forgot that you the one. You the one, man and woman. You just forgot that you the one. You the one, fam. 
The one you've been looking for is you. This whole time, you've been waiting for you to catch on and get your mind wrapped around God self. I self law and master. You are the chosen one. You just forgot that you had this mission. You the one. You the one. So when you see something like this, you looking at your own self. That's why it resonate around the world like it did. Look. Watch this. Watch this. You looking really at yourself. See, now nah, he has ignited his God self. He's in God mode right now. And you can be in God mode too. When you start studying yourself, you start going inside yourself. I self law and master. That's what self-awareness, self-awakening, self-realization is all about. Higher self, lower self. Balancing yourself out. Using principles of ancient science called isonomy. This is what you're using. So when you're looking at a movie like this, you're not just looking at a real, a real dope-ass movie. You're really looking at a, a, a documentary and you're also looking at a biography. Of yourself. Real shit though. Because once you start seeing things for how they are, not for what you want them and wish them to be, then you can start seeing the code. See? You start seeing the code now. Once you get out of the whole black thing and you get out of the I don't know my name and I don't know my nationality, I don't know who I am. Once you start once you get out of that paradigm, you're gonna start seeing the God code. This is you're looking at the God code right now. This is the God code. See? And once you start getting the God code, then you're going to start thinking, you're going to start speaking, you're going to start moving differently. You're going to be in God mode. You're going to be in God level because your God self is activated. See how you looking? See? See the looking? See the look? And they mad. They mad. I know. Hold that. Get your ass off. See? See, nah, he went. Remember? He, remember they told him, hey, listen, when they come... When these agents coming at you, the best thing you could do is to run. Now, who's the one? Now, who's the one? Who the one scared now? See, now he running to the agents. <laughs> yo, yo, he ain't even afraid no more. Now he like, man, fuck that. I'm running to the agents. I ain't scared of none. He running dead into the agents now. And once you turn your God self up, once you figure yourself out to the point where you start being like, listen, man, I'm not afraid of dying because the death is not my physical death. It's the death of what I've been. The newborn is what you say, like in the scripture, in the Bible, when they say to be born again, Neo right here. Was born again. See, they telling you all the time in the movie. You just got to know what you're looking at. Right here, he was being born again. This is what he was doing. Yeah. 
He's being born again, man. the death see that now he realizes who he is so when you say like and as far as like law let's say we looked at this like law and we looked at this as history and we looked at this as principle neo just turned on his god self and became the one but all of us are the one when you turn up your principles, you're the one you're you, you don't have to wait on somebody like a like a martyr or a chosen one. You are the one you looking at the one all the time. When you look at yourself, you the one you don't have to run from yourself. You just have to realize who you are. And once you realize who you are, nothing is impossible. Nothing. He's the one. He's the one. See? See that? See, once you realize who you are, fam, man and woman, you start be seeing the God code, fam. You see the God code. And guess what, though? You cannot see the God code if you're not dealing with high principles. If you're not dealing with this, you're not dealing with this. You're not dealing with this. You're not dealing with this. If you're not dealing with high principles and all you doing is being a cognitive dissonance believer, you're over here. You know, another reason why they don't show the word Negro in the law dictionary. This book is called We Are Not Black. By, by the more true Ali. One of the reasons why we ain't get told that the that the dictionary version, Black's Law's Fourth Edition dictionary, check this definition out real quick. It say the word it says Negro, right? Negro. The word Negro means a black man, one descendant from the African race, and does not commonly include a mulatto. Now, before you before you turn it off, just listen to the rest of it. But the laws of the different states are not uniform in this respect. Some, including the description, quote unquote, Negro, one who has one eighth or more of African blood. All right. Now, here's the here's here's the part that they don't read out loud. Term Negro means necessarily person of color but not every person of color is negro <sighs> wow not every person of color is negro this is why it's detrimental to describe and to claim negro and negro in spanish is Black Islam Negro in Spanish is black. They don't say Negro. They say Negro. So if somebody that speaks so-called Spanish, which is really Moorish Latin, if they call you a Negro, they are disrespecting you. So when somebody calls you black, they're disrespecting you. That's not a positive term. That's a derogatory, dehumanizing, denationalization term. Strips away your birth rights, strips away your nationality, strips you away from protection to the human family. It strips you of everything. You're a beast. And beasts of burden are stakes on the table for the ones who know to eat. Islam. Now, look, when you say this right here, you say linguistically, we can easily conclude that the term black is a derivation from Middle English black.
B L A K. Old English Blake, B L A E C. Old High German Bla. See that? Latin Flagar. Greek Phalasian. And it has undergone several transformations, variants, or phases of morphology into its modern form. Watch this shit though. This will get super crazy. With black being the offspring of modern English, it indicates to us that black was not being used to refer to people prior to the 1100s to 1400s. What? Ah, ether bombs. The word black wasn't even being used to refer to people prior to the 1100s to the 1400s. So what were you being called if it wasn't black? You were being called more. Uh, our people were being called Moors prior to the 1100s to the 1400s or during the pre-Columbian era. Simply put, the term black, the term did not exist and thereby cannot have a definitive application to people or a solidified place in the context of any spoken languages or written literature prior to pre-Columbian civilization. What are you saying? All the pro-black people. What are you what are you what are you talking about? Don't quote, don't quote this man right here. Don't quote Marcus Garvey no more. Sit the fuck down. Don't quote Marcus Garvey no more. Because Marcus Garvey was out here talking about man know thyself. Don't quote Marcus Garvey no more. If you talking about some pro-black bullshit, sit the fuck down. Because Marcus Garvey was talking about man know thyself. He was also talking about what? He was talking about traitors. And traitors among the so-called Negro race are generally to be found among the men highest placed in education and society. The fellows who call themselves leaders. Don't these people out here always be talking about, I'm a leader. I'm a thought leader. I'm a leader. I'm a leader of the new school. I'm a leader. Sit the fuck down. Because you a traitor. And Marcus Garvey, he was out here talking about some NYC Islam. Marcus Garvey was out here talking about nationhood. These ain't my words. This is Marcus Garvey words. You notice they love talking about Marcus Garvey, but they don't never show no books written by Marcus Garvey. You looking at a book written by Marcus Garvey right now. He ain't got nothing to hide. They love bringing his name up since they talking about him so much. Why don't they ever show no literature of Marcus Garvey? Here's the literature right here. He was talking about education, nationhood. This is what he was talking about. He was talking about nations. He was talking about nationhood is the highest ideal of all peoples. Independence of nationality. Huh? Marcus Garvey was talking about nationalism. You said he never emphasized Moors, though. And again, this is where study come in from. Because once you say dark skinned person, you're saying more. Get start get start building up your library brick by brick, book by book. Once you start and try to go get some older books. The modern books, they all been watered down. That's a good, that's a good question, though. That's a good look. That's a good little thing. But once you start studying older literature, dictionaries and history, then you can start putting pieces together when you're saying like what you're saying, because you're saying he never emphasized Moors. The history has already been put out there. Let me ask you a question for the one that wrote that. Who does this look like right here? Who does this look like? Does this look like a pale skinned person? Uh, this weighs five to 20 tons. These are scattered all around the Americas. Do that look like a pale skinned European? 
Huh? That look like a European. That look like a hybrid. Then when you say, okay, who else was talking about nationhood? So this is where you got to start connecting these dots. Who else was talking about nationhood? Who actually was first on the scene in the 1920s talking about nationality and nationhood? And then when you say who else was talking about it, Noble Draw Lee was talking about it. See that? He was around the prophet Noble Draw Lee. Where do you think he got the idea, the concepts of nationhood from? Why do you think Noble Draw Lee went to go grab Marcus Garvey when he got locked up? See, when you start connecting these dots, you start putting pieces together to the puzzle. Noble Drew Ali was a rider. He went down there to scoop Garvey out of jail when he got locked up. See that? Noble Drew Ali was a rider. He was a general. He was a prophet. Why would he go scoop Marcus Garvey out of jail if he ain't care nothing about Marcus Garvey? Who else came to get Marcus Garvey? Anybody else? Or was the prophet Noble Drali down there checking for him? Bing bong. Okay. See that? See that? And then you would say, well, the word America, Sumerians, see the Sumerians and the Amorites? Who you think the Amorites and the Sumerians is? Those are Moorish people. Those are just tribes of Moorish people. Amorites. Sumerians, you can easily get the word America very easily from a more. I want you to look at this because I see that you writing, but you're not paying attention. When you see the word America very easily, you can get the word a more. I want you to use your common sense and your critical thinking. How do you get the word a more from the word America without being Moors? What does the word a more mean in Spanish? And what is the highest principle of Islam? Love. So how you like you're not seeing the connections. If you're not seeing the connections, it's cool. You need to just fall back and you need to start, start studying. Build up your library brick by brick like I said earlier. You need to start building your library up brick by brick. So when you say L-O-V-E and then when you say, well, what is the word love in Spanish? What is the word love in Italian? Amore. Spanish, it's amor. What do you... You got to start putting these pieces together yourself. But it's each one teach one, though. I got love for my peoples, though. But you got to start on your own because man, man knows not by being told. So when you saying amore, that's Italian. That's still love. Amor, Spanish. Then when you say it in English, you say amor. Amor, amor. Amore, first principle is love. You think this wasn't planned divinely by Allah, the prophet, Allah, the great architect, to have the prophet as the fifth and final prophet bring the science? So when you say amor, you say amor, amore, you saying in it's, it's actually so divine and you see the connections because exactly in the language of Italian, so-called Spanish, Latin, and you say French, amor. You're still saying amor in so many different languages. You could go to Arabic. You could go to Hindu. You could go to any language that you could think about. You're going to find Moorish Language, a Morris connection, whether it's a positive or a negative, inside of a Moor, which is our people. Copper complexion, swarthy complexion, olive complexion, tawny complexion. You're going to find all of that inside of a Moor. And if you stay over here in the Americas, 
You're going to start seeing stuff like Israel was over here. Jerusalem was over here. Lebanon was over here. Egypt, Egypt was over here. Mesopotamia was over here. Babylon was over here. Syria was over here. What? What? How, how Sway? How? How, Sway? Huh? Now, please keep in mind that you have the god Amaru, more. Mu, Lamoria, Mer, Mor, Maru, Moro in the word America. For example, Amorica, Tamerica, see, Tamerinka, the Incas in the Americas, Amenraka, Amenraka, what? Al Morocco. Al Moraka, Al Moraka. You see the different spellings? See, when you're using, this is why with these Hebrew Israelites, if Hebrew Israelites really did the knowledge, you will see that when you study Hebrew, the word for teacher in Hebrew is Amor. Oh, you need a, you need a receipt? Hold on. You need a receipt real quick. So you say you need a receipt. This is the grand finale, right? Ain't this the grand finale? Hey, see, the Hebrew word for teacher is more, which is the charge and obligation of all sons of the light. See, this is where Hebrew Israelites, this is if they just start studying the language of Hebrew. And start making connections with the language. You can see how could the name for teacher be more and not be connected to the Moorish bloodline. I mean, like, what, did, what, 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 what else you looking for? <laughs> what else is you looking for? We talk about going into a strong concordance, Hebrew strong's exhaustive concordance, Hebrew and Chaldea dictionary, page sixty. Huh? Page 60 to 3,974. All of these have Moorish connections. And if you did want to be like, man, I don't mess with the Moors, man. I don't study none of that. I don't study none of that. So, okay, so if you don't study that, you study this right here. Let's say you did. Let's say you say, man, I don't, I don't study that. I don't study no Moors and all that. Let's say you studied the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Since you want to say you study that, right? For example, you say you study that. Okay, cool. You study that, right? Okay. Copper complexion, still there. Okay, so never never mind the copper complexion. Never mind the symbology, which is still Moorish. Never mind any of these signs and the symbols and unks and never mind none of that, right? Just never mind none of that. Say you just go partially blind to any of that, right? Even though Yahushua, Yahushua has skin like burnt brass. I mean, I mean, even though you might, you know, you you want you don't want to go with that though. You want to say, nah, I ain't I don't deal with more science. I don't, I don't. Okay. So can you explain? Can you explain how these are hieroglyphics, which are still Moorish language, the meta nature? Can you explain how this bird right here? And these symbols right here. Can you explain how more M A U R? Can you explain how those hieroglyphics still spell out more? Can you explain that? Also, while you at it, can you explain how Palermo Stell, the title of the highest priest of Anu, can you explain the connection? <laughs> yeah. Can you explain the connection? With the Palermo still, the title of the high priest of Anu. Is there any way you can explain your, can you explain that? How can more have hieroglyphics that's directly connected to the Egyptians? And Egypt first was over here in Al Maghrib Al Aska, aka Morocco, aka American, aka Americam, aka America.
Ah. Can you explain that? <laughs> can you explain that? I'm just trying to make it make sense. Huh? Can can I mean, can you explain that this is an Old Testament map of ancient America? I mean, I'm just saying. Can you explain how Israel was over here? Uh, I'm just saying. Can you explain how Lebanon, how Palestine, and there's over 400 names that are so-called Islamic that are over here in the Americas? I mean, can you explain that? Can you make it make sense? I'm just saying. Can you make it make sense? Can Can you make it make sense? I'm just saying. The ancient, the 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 ancient ones, they said that we was we were gonna rise. They said that the ancient ones was going to rise in this new era of time. I think that's happening right now. Right about now, that's happening. Because people are starting to each one teach one, and they're starting to tap into that divinity. Because this is, an, this is a divine and national movement. See that? You said, can you explain how the Statue of Liberty was really copper, but it turned green? That's a great question. What what happens when you have an anchor? When you have an anchor to a ship and you send the anchor down in the water and you leave it down there, what happens to that? To that anchor down there that's made of copper? What happens? It loses oxygen because it's down there in the water. So what happens to it? It's green. It's not getting oxidation. So what is going to happen to the chemical, the alchemical structure? It's going to start to do what? It's going to start to rust. Right. So it rusts. So now that's a great question. So now ask yourself, how much of a percentage is the so-called human body made of? 70 percent, 80 percent water. Right. Somewhere around there. Now, the same thing that you say with that anchor that's down in the water, our bodies are 70 some 80 percent water. So when a baby is born, the baby has green spots on the bottom, on the butt, the arm, the stomach, the face, sometimes the ears. The same thing happens to our biological bodies because we are we have water. 80, 70, some 80 percent water in our bodies. So green would turn into brownish, copperish, dark complexion from the color. So when you say you could pick up this book, um, ah, uh, what is it? What is this? What is this right? Oh yeah, you could pick up the book, uh. America is the true old world volume. I think it, what is it? Volume two, volume two. You could pick up America is the true old world volume two. It goes into that. It goes into that. And it start breaking down. It start breaking down how our bodies, since we have so much water in our bodies, how we don't get the oxidization because of the water in our bodies and the skin, it rusts. But it's natural evolution, though. It's natural evolution. Pick up the book. America is the true old world, volume two. You could pick that up. Ether. Ether. I got it around here somewhere. Some. I got it around here somewhere. I don't know where it is right now. It's somewhere around here. But yeah, though. Pick that up, though. I got it around here somewhere. I don't know where it is right now. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. It's always love building with y'all, man. It's always love. Shit be lit. Now, you really got me wanting to find that book, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. You really got me wanting to find that book, though. Because that was a good question. That was a real good question. You really got me wanting to find that book, though. Ah, I don't know where it's at, though. That shit buried somewhere around here. I don't know where that demo at. Ah, it's buried somewhere. I don't know where it's at. You really got me wanting to... Ah, Allah works in mysterious ways.
<laughs> Allah works in mysterious ways, though. You said the Statue of Liberty, right? Okay. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty is right there. Then you would say, well, what's up? What's to the Statue of Liberty? What's to it? You would say this right here. Hold up. Let's turn this on. You would say, what's to it right? What's to what's to that? What's to that? Statue of Liberty. Hmm. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. What's to what's to the Statue of Liberty? Just for you, because you asked that dope question. Just for just for you. Just for you. Just for you, more. Then you say this. It say, if you got this book, page 117, and there's other moors on here that probably want to see it too, so why not? This is America is a True Old World, volume two. All right? It say, our true skin color as a people, it says, our true skin color as people of melanin is green. Melanin is like chlorophyll to the human body. When we had our original way of life, our divine connection in nature and used 100 percent of our intelligence. We were living and not dying when magnesium was more plentiful on the planet. Our skin was a greenish black hue. Magnesium had to be had to re be replaced with iron. The human body is made up of 75% water. So what happens to iron when it's submerged in water? It begins to rust. This is why our skin color is brown now instead of green. Everything growing through photos, photosynthesis absorbs sunlight and grows green in nature. Have you ever, it says, if you ever notice, many babies are born with birthmarks of green skin. Mm. Visit our closed group called Oxum. Ah, then you see some pictures, some illustrations of green, bluish. You see? You said they call it Mongolian spots. Ah, bing bong. And then you see the green spots. Those green spots are indicative of us actually being more in tune with chlorophyll. That's why newborn babies come out with that because they have been submerged in the woman. They the star seed has been submerged inside the first university of woman, which is the mother. See? That's why if you turn look, so you saw me real time. That's why if you turn this, if you turn this picture around like this, if you reverse it and you look at this, what does that look like? Look at it. Look at it. See, it looks like the belly of a woman and she has the star seed inside of her about to be born. See, see the signs and the symbols are right here. Yeah, they they right there. It looked like a pregnant woman. That's why Allah is the great architect. Allah has divinely prepared the things that are going to happen to happen. Eh? Divinely prepared, Morris. Divinely. This is divinely prepared. All right. So when you say the pregnant woman, that goes into I. Representing the mother and child from hence you came. So this is why we have to protect the woman. This is one of the reasons why we must protect the great cosmic mother. Okay? This is one of the reasons we cannot allow our women any longer to continue to be like, no, nah, it's good. You a sex worker. It's good that you sell your body. It's good that you don't care nothing about your body count. It's good that you just do whatever. You free to do whatever you want. With freedom comes responsibility. Freedom comes with great responsibility. So if you free out there, then you need to be more responsible 
for what you're doing out there. You would think. So we got to stop encouraging that bo that bogus ass, that destructive, disorderly, dysfunctional mentality. Like, it don't matter what you do. Shit, you just do whatever. Treat people like whatever. Have a high ass body count. It don't matter. Ain't you trying to find a, a husband eventually? Ain't you trying to find a wife eventually? Or oh, if you're trying to find a, 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 what you would say in a, in a human form, your, 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 your companion, your, your, your wife or your husband, and you trying to find on some, I need them to be as pure as possible. So how can we be born again? We can be born again, just like Neo. When he saw them bullets getting fired at him, he said, no. He wasn't going no more. So he, in turn, graduated to an I-Self Law and Master degree. Where he saw the God code, he saw it in himself. See? That's why. I hope that answered your question more. Real life. Yeah. So I'm finna move around. Hopefully y'all got something from this beam out. Hopefully y'all grab something from this beam out, man. Each one teach one. It ain't about Kush Day. It's about each one teach one. I self law and master. It ain't about me. I'm just the messenger. Just like all y'all the messengers. Y'all are the chosen ones. We all are the chosen ones, G. This is no martyr thing. We all are the chosen ones. So it's our time to start doing what we supposed to do. Stand on business. Stand on principles. Don't be out. If you still out here in cognitive dissonance and you listening to people that never show books, they never show receipts, they never show documentation. All they do is get on them, get in front of the camera and they start talking. And if you ask them, hey, you do you own did matter of fact, did you write a book yet? Because if you ain't got no book, how the hell are you calling yourself a doctor? You ain't got no literature that nobody can look at and read to see what you even about. How you a doctor with no book? Make that make sense. <laughs> make that shit make sense. Matter of fact, let me show y'all these books before I move around, though, Jake. This has been the, the grand finale of the Extinction Level event. I appreciate y'all tuning in to this series, fam. Wait for the next series, though. Wait for the next series, though. Ah, we got some crazy lined up. Let me show y'all these books before we get up out of here, though. Let's go. Let's go. Get some screenshots. Get some screenshots. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Uh. Let's go, man. Let's go, Morris. Get some screenshots. Ah. Uh. Yes, sir. I signed to me. Hmm. Marcus Garvey. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Get them screenshots up. Yeah. Shit lit. Shit lit. Yes, sir. Get this right here, though. Woo. Ah. Let's go, Morris. It's our time now. You ain't know? It's our time now. It's our time now.
It's our time now. Ah. Uh. Shout out A Rod Music. Ah. Uh. Let's go. Exhuming of a nation. You talking about you want to have a you want to have a solar eclipse awakening? You want to have an awakening? There it is right there. There it is. You gotta turn these up. Turn these up. What you waiting on? Huh? What you waiting on? What you waiting on? What you waiting on? What you think Putin was over there showing? This is what Putin was showing. Talking about Moors, man. Huh? Talking about Moors, fam. Talking about Moors, fam. Talking about Moors, fam. Huh? Talking about Moors, fam. We ain't talking about black. We ain't talking about nothing else. St. Benedict the Moor, Palermo, Italy. This is what we talking about. I'm gonna catch y'all Moors in the next one, though. Our self law and master. Each one teach one. Y'all know it's our time, man. It's our time now. Let's go.